This brings me to the end of this presentation. Investing in fintech will be the best decision ever. Thank you. We know that you are an expert when it comes to making money. We are going with you on this. You're welcome. Sorry for doing your okay. cake. Uh, I was thinking if you could join me for lunch. No, I can't. Come on. I mean, this is the best time to have this discussion. What discussion? Come on, Pamela. How else do you want me to prove that I've been having interest in you? I mean, pretty them so. I'm dying for you. And if you can give me the chance, I'll prove it to you. Well, Mr. Maxwell, my day started with the meeting you just attended. And I have other meetings scheduled before noon. So if you don't mind, I cannot have this conversation with you. Thank you. Come on, Pamela. Why are you feeling so proud? Who the hell do you think you are? Huh? Is it because they call you money-making machine? Come on. That's an empty eulogy from Psycho fans. Look, let me tell you, Pamela, you know nothing. And if you can humble yourself and become mine, huh, I'll teach you a lot. I'll teach you. I mean it. So. Pamela. Touch me again and I'll teach you a lesson. Try it and I won't be this lenient. You slapped me, Pamela. Mm -hmm. Pamela, you slapped me! It's alright, no problem. Pamela, I'm talking to you. What? Come, are you a devil? I beg your pardon. No, no, I won't even pardon you. Because it's only a devil that rejects gifts. For crying out loud, even if you don't like this guy, that is not enough reason for you to reject his gift. Babe, I'm talking about a car gift. Honestly, I don't want to argue about this, okay? Because you want to understand. Then make me understand. For heaven's sake. This is the first time I'm seeing someone spitting out honey from her mouth. Pamela, don't you want a good life? No, I'm, I'm asking you, don't you want a good life? I mean, what is it you crave for in a man that a maker does not have? First of all, Cynthia, how poor do you think of me? No, 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 I want to understand because maybe you're, you're mistaking something. How poor do you think of me? Speaking of that car, hmm? I can afford thousands of that toy you saw out there. And like I said, I have made my stand known. I do not want any relationship with that guy or anyone else. Girl, you better start talking. Talk about what? Now don't you dare play this card with me. You and I know that you're doing all this bullshit for a reason. And I need you to talk here and now. <sighs> Sita, please sit down. Can you just sit down and stop standing like a soldier? going on. This is like the fourth time she's calling me in the past two hours. Hi, mom. How are you? you you've been calling me non-stop. I hope, I hope all is well. <laughs> I know, I know, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, What's going on? Weekend? Um, 
Well, uh, I'll be traveling this weekend, Mom. I, I have um, a meeting to attend. Yes, a meeting. Woman bent on making my life a living hell. Why? What do I do now to stop her from coming? She's sleeping, cuddling her pillow like it's a baby. Wake up, wake up, let's pray, sir. Uh. Wake up, let's pray, please. Oh. Why are you not sleeping? My darling, I am awake because I am bothered. I can't sleep. I've been thinking about you. I mean, look at how you're lying here clinging onto your pillow like it's a man. Please get up, let us pray. Please. Mom, did you not check the time? Time? You're talking of time. I mean, look at you. This big room, your big bed, you're in it all alone. You are meant to be sharing it with a man. I don't need a man for anything. Men are scum. They're just out there looking for a woman to control, and I'm not in for that. Do you listen to yourself sometimes when you speak? Mm -hmm. Get your Bible, let us pray. Mom, please. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Father. Thank you, my Lord. The most high ran it. The most high ran it. The most high renate in my life today. The most high renate. The most high renate. The most high renate in my life today. In my life. Oh, well, you're lucky that uh, you took ill while I'm still here. I mean, how would you have survived? Honestly, Mom, I don't know what I would have done. Thank you so much. It's not about saying thank you. That's why I've been encouraging you to find a man of your own. A husband that would take care of you. Mom, what does my illness got to do with me not being married? Are you tired of taking care of me? It's not about being tired of taking care of you. It's really not my duty to take care of you. Your husband should be the one to take care of you. Uh, do you not hate me that much that you can say it to my face comfortably? I could never hate you. You are my baby. But I am telling you the truth and I would continue to do that. Listen, you know, our people say that it's only your best friend or someone that genuinely loves you that would tell you your mouth smells. At this instant, your mouth really smells. You need to get yourself a husband. Look, I mean, do you know what it means to have a family? I'm not supposed to be taking care of you, but your children. Uh, uh, no, listen, just picture it. Just picture your little children running all over the place and you shouting out to them, take it easy, stop that. I don't have any. Why are you telling me about them? Uh, because at your age, you should have children. You should be married. And then a loving husband that would be there taking care of you, kissing you at the right time, touching you at the right time, making you feel happy while your heart yearns for him. That is what it should be. Oh, Mom, I think I'm feeling dizzy. 
these drugs are really working on me right now. Well, I should go have some rest. Yeah, mm -hmm. the drugs are really working. Sending you upstairs. Keep running, darling. Okay, mom. But I'll always tell you the truth. Okay? You must find a man to take care of you. Oh, yeah, I'm talking to you, baby. You must find yourself a man. What are we talking about here? She needs a man to take care of her. You know, I keep saying it. A woman needs to be loved. You know I'm not happy with you. Why, Mama? I, I got all the things you wanted me to, so... That's not my problem. I mean, look at the way you were struggling with the box. Trying to open your boot. I mean, all complicated because you don't have a man around you. Those things are meant to be done by a man. Why don't you just sit back and relax and enjoy yourself? But you'd rather do everything because you don't want to get yourself a man. Uh, Mom, we, we've been through this severally. <sighs> I told you I am not interested in getting married. Most men don't even know what marriage is all about. Really? They just want a woman they will control, enslave. I me, mean, I'm not that kind of woman. You can't enslave me. I can't be subjected to, to, to that. You know, I feel like giving you a dirty slap. But you know what? I'm controlling myself. I'm holding both hands because if I try it, eh, Pam, you wouldn't know what hits you. I mean, look at you. Your mates are in their husband's houses, babysitting their children. While you're here, having your mother babysit you. I can't remember telling you to babysit me. Mom, please, can you just go in? I don't want you to miss your flight. No, you know, I can't even begin to fathom the fact that you, an African woman, is giving all those stupid reasons for not settling down. Hello? What, what's that? Just, just, just. Are, are you pushing me out of I'm your not, house? I'm not no, no, you. you're pushing me out. Mom, you know what? I'm not going anywhere Can you again. You just stop it. Too? I've tried extra charges. You, 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 Julie, I don't want you to miss your flight. Just get into the car, please. No, no, you don't talk to me in that manner. I pay the extra charges. Hello, I still have money. Retired head teacher for crying out loud. Fine. Please just, just, just get in. No, ju just ask me nicely. Get in, please. Mommy, please. Mom, please, just, 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 just get in. Let me drop you off, please. Pamela, I'm not going anywhere. Look at you, all dried up. That's why you're like that. You get easily irritated. Pamela, you're dry. you need a man to touch these things. Touch you. Can you can just stop? Pamela, you are so, you. so dry. Ah, we need to, you know, do something to you. Oh, please, get in. Jeez. You are so dry. Everywhere is dry. Take me to the airport. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Why can't I just have peace in my own house? Why? The last time she came here, it was full of trouble. I am not ready to go through that trauma again. I'm not... My food! Oh my goodness! Who's gone? I didn't think you still live properly. My friend, shut up there! Are you mad? Yeah, you carry paper, they will see our points. They will see our points. My friend, get out. What do you mean? Are you, are you, are you, you don't have sense? I'm ready to stake this game. You're ready to stake this I'm game? I'm telling you. At your own risk. At my risk. At your own risk? I, you know nothing about football. I know nothing about football. You know nothing about football. Liverpool must win this game. Who will be my you? My you, my you.
perfect definition of a fine boy. Oh, he looks so jobless. Oh, this is in this paper. Okay. I think he's fit for this job. Let me look. Good afternoon, Hi. Good afternoon. I, I have uh, loaded newspapers. I have uh, fashion magazines, depends on what you want. Okay, give me loaded newspaper and fashion magazines. Both of them. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll do that. Right. Hey, Goma. Okay. Fashion magazine. Okay, so how much is it? Um, 1000 750. Okay. But, madam, I'm always I'm here anytime. Oh, uh, sure. I have everything. Okay. So, you keep the change. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes. Madam, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, I have a better job offer for you. Ma? Mm hmm. Sorry? I have. A better job over for you, so take this and call me later. You have a better job for me. Mm -hmm. Take this and call me later. But well, madam, you barely know me. Mm. All right. Thank you very much, ma. You're welcome. You're so kind. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate. It. My guy, my guy, my guy. Yeah. How now? Are you ready? So <laughs> see, I will see. I see him. I see him. I see him. Are you soft? I see him. Oh, my God. What did you have now? See. She said, I have a better job for you. I have. A better job for you. Are you serious? I have a better job for you. <laughs> oh my God! Hey! How much? How much? I'll be your guy. I'll be your guy. Take I will see. I will see. I will see. Hey! Oh, wait. And the new money be this ability over. Come on, new money. Okay. <laughs> I am meant. Please, you see, that girl said I can give you this office. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, this is an email address. Forget it. Instagram and Facebook. Ah, guy, you still waste time. Hmm? Forget all this day. What do we have to delay you? You need to call this girl as up. Yeah. You need to call her. If she can give you all this money, just for nothing, she will change your life. I'm telling you the truth. She just said, I have a better job for you. What is that you saying? I'm a fine girl. You talk about fine girl, I'll be like the money when you're born. Eh? No, you need to call her. I'll 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 call her. Okay. Madam! Madam! Alpha! This is a bad, this is a bad, this is a bad. My customer, my customer. Wow, this is my past customer. My customer. This is her lipids. Aha. Uh -huh. Davison, right? Yes, yes, ma'am. Sit down. Ma'am? 
I can see you have your credentials. Yes, 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 ma'am. Yes. Okay. Impressive. You know, an intelligent guy like you should manage a big company. But it's quite unfortunate. The country we are in, we are still surviving. Um, yes, my, you're very correct. Uh, but the thing is, it's been really tough for me. Um, g getting a job in this country depends on who you know. Um, well, the job I have for you does not require any of this. Ma? So, what type of job is that? Sometimes I wonder how you reason. I've always known that this your quietness is mixed with stupidity. Why are you insulting me? Why? I have not even started. <laughs> Look at the golden opportunity you are about to miss. If this opportunity comes to me, I will grab it with my two hands. I will grab it without, without even thinking about it. I'll drop this my, 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 my stressful job. Use the money and start something useful for myself. Listen, I understand how you feel. I find it very, very inappropriate accepting 400,000 naira from someone who wants me to pretend to be her boyfriend just because she wants to convince her mother. I, I don't think that's good. You think you can make 400,000 naira by selling newspaper for 10 years? Whether you like it or not, you must accept this offer. You must I'm, not. I don't, I'm not comfortable. I'm not. I am not comfortable. Besides, listen, I submitted my CV to some companies. I'm very hopeful that something good will come out from there. So let's just... Oh, let's yes, just... something good will come out of that, eh, Pastor Davidson. But before that miracle comes, you have to accept this particular one. Do you hear me? 400,000 naira. My guy, reason now. You know my friends call me the... Hmm. It's because of my size. Ah. This one yeah, yeah, that you're not eating. I hope all is well. Come on. This food, their food is so fucking small. I think I have to order for an additional plate too. Hmm. Are you okay? Are you done eating? Oh wait, let me try this soup. I think it'll be nice. She wants no man, she wants nobody. She just wanna be alone. Say all oh, men has come. She wants yeah. nobody. How can a woman be alone without a man by her side? She wants nobody. This is insane, no. She say no time for relationships. How could this be? Every woman need the man by her side. No matter what you have, you are incomplete. A man is the one that completes a woman. So how can you say you don't need a man? Yeah. Every woman needs every woman needs a man to make their life to make their life to be complete. No matter what you have, you can be complete. Without your man by your side. Yeah, How can a full grown man smell so bad? How oh, his breath smells, everything smells, his body smells, everything. Oh my god. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh. oh my goodness. What? Is this what I'm going to go through because I'm looking for a man? Is this what I'm going to go through just because I want to get married? This guy stinks. He smells. Oh. Oh no, no, I can't deal with this. I can't. Uh, see the way he was swallowing everything. He, he. Oh no. 
this 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 is a mistake this is my biggest mistake no no i can't deal i can't deal with him oh he shouldn't even call me It's a good thing you had a rethink and decided to come back. Remember, you must have to play by the rules. No strange attach. Okay? This is purely business. Business it is. Sorry, my. Can you kindly uh, explain further? Throw more light on. Sure. Listen, you have to put up a convincing act. Whilst my mother is here, you have to make us see that we are in love. But deep, deep, deep down your heart, you know that there is nothing, nothing between us. Understood. Yes, 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 of course. Yes. Nothing between us. Exactly. So this is business. And yes. at the end of everything, I'm going to pay you off hugely. Okay? That's okay. That, that's all right. No problem. Very good. Okay. Nothing between us. Uh, understood. Hmm? Understood. Good. Yes. <sighs> okay. So, let's go. Thank you. Oh, no. no matter what you have, you can be complete without your man by your side. Every woman needs a man in their life to be a man complete. A woman, someone out there will be waiting to love you, but she say no, 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 no. She wants nobody. She just wanna be a no. Say all men has come. She Just say no time for relationships. Nobody. How could this be? Every woman need a man by her side. No matter what you have, you are incomplete. A man is the one that completes a woman. So how can you say you don't need a man? Yeah. Every woman needs. Every woman needs a man. Sorry, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I, I asked you to leave the other bags in the car because you'll be going with the car. You know, as my supposed boyfriend or fiancé, you need to have a car. Okay, no problem. I hope you have a good parking space and your environment is well secured. Yes, my, I have a secure place where I can pack your car. So, here's a car key. Okay, thank you, Mom. Yeah, and please, please, endeavor to come out here very early tomorrow morning because we need to go pick up my mom from the airport. That's and fine, Mom. You need to look very good. No problem. Okay. So, I'll be on my way. All right. Um, one more thing. Um, remember, you are an engineer and a contractor. That's my line of duty, ma. Thank you. All right, Thank see you, you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. Mm. My guy, you don't have my own. So, you're now a car owner. Car owner? No. The car does not belong to me. Besides, the car wasn't part of the deal. It's for the business. She gave it to me to pretend with it. She wants everyone to think I own a car. So it doesn't, it's, not, it's not mine. Even at that, you will not be living a big boy's life. 
no more a local newspaper vendor. You don't upgrade, my guy. A very funny. Guy, is that girl? That girl is very lucky. She's very lucky that I'm not the one she chose. Listen, you can't go close to that girl, though. You can't dare. She's very strict. She's very mean. She doesn't even look at my face. Guy, forget that thing. I can never be afraid of a woman. Eh? If I see that girl, if I catch that girl, I will suffocate her. I will draw all her money. She will give me Kano Joseka. She will give me an escort. See, all you have to do is to draw your plan and follow it. So now that I've gotten the perfect man for this job, I need to call my mom to remind her of our trip tomorrow. Hi, mom. I'm good. How are you? Good. I hope you're getting ready for tomorrow. Please, you, you, you have to wake up very early. I don't want you to miss your flight, okay? Okay. I can't wait to see you too. <laughs> All right, bye. Yeah. Hmm. You pushed me into this. You are going to see what you're looking for. Why is he not picking? This is like the, the, the fifth time I've called and he's not, he's not taking his calls. God. Oh my goodness. Are you sure this guy hasn't duped me? He's even with my car. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I left him with my car. I left him. What is going on? He's supposed to have been here like... 30 minutes ago, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? I think he's the one. Thank God he's here. Good morning, ma. Good morning to you. And why are you late? Your call time was 9 o'clock. I'm sorry, I, I was held up in traffic. So why weren't you taking your calls? I'm sorry, I left my phone at home. Um, my phone is very cheap and it's not presentable for this business. So. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, boy, you should have drawn my attention to that. Uh, you, you know what, I'll fix you up later, okay? Come on, we're late. Thank you so much, baby. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much, young man. Um, Mom, I'll be on my way now. It's getting late. So I'm mm. sure she'll do everything to take care of you. Oh, she has no choice. <laughs> so sure. Here, I'll see you later. Okay, okay. Come here. <laughs> take care, yeah? Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. All right. See you later. Yeah, later. All right. Uh -huh. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, Mom. Yeah. I forgot to tell him something, Please. so uh, I'll be right back. I'll tell him something. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, baby. 
Take your time. This is what I've been waiting for. The beginning of something special and deep. <laughs> that kiss was hot. I mean, like. <laughs> Is there a problem? Are you mad? Why did you kiss me in front of my mom? Huh? That wasn't the plan. Remember I told you, no intimacy. Listen, I, I'm sorry. I, I, didn't, I didn't think that was disrespectful. Besides, I was just... It was just my way of showing affection in front of your mom. That's... Was that why you kissed me? Listen, you need to calm down because your mom could be watching right now. And I'm sure you don't want that. Besides, I'm not trying to take advantage of you. I I'm just doing my own part of the job. You don't have that right to kiss me. I did not tell you to kiss me. You don't, you don't even have to kiss me. That wasn't the plan. Send your account number. I'll send you some money for the phone. Get out. And don't you ever kiss me again. Everything all right? Yeah, sure. You know, we we planned having dinner together, but he said you had an urgent meeting, so. I see. Uh, that, well, that's all right. You know, you never mentioned him to me, so what is he to you? I mean, your love, friends, or just a friend? Hmm, murder. So which do you want me to answer? I just want to know about him and what he means to you. Mommy, please, just, just come freshen up, okay? Let me get you something to eat. Am I asking for too much? Mm -hmm. mm, not really, but <laughs> mom, please. We have all the time in the world to talk about this, so please come freshen up. Okay, let me just get my breath. I, no problem, I'll wait. <laughs> I want to hear the nitty, every little detail about it. <laughs> okay, come, come, come. Well, you take up the bag first and let me catch my breath. Okay. It was a long trip. The turbulence was something else. Oh, God. Mm. Mm. You like it? Mm-hmm. Very tasty. Okay. Especially the chicken. <laughs> mm-hmm. By the way, where's he from? Oh. He's, he's a Nigerian. A hard work in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> Is that supposed to be an answer to my question? I'll repeat. Where exactly is he from? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Speak of an angel. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. I just called to check up on you and your mother. Hold on, hold on. Say that again, baby. <laughs> I said I called to check up on you and your mother. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, we're doing just fine, yes. Um, we're just eating. Oh, oh, I, I apologize. I didn't know you were, you were having dinner. Um, I, I'll just call back later. Oh, you know, when you called me, huh? wouldn't you have gotten angry if I hadn't picked your call? Oh, no, no, I, I, just, I just feel you need some privacy. I mean, to spend some time with your mother. Please, my regards to your mom, okay? Take care of her. Okay, okay, she's listening. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Okay, baby. 
I, I love you so much. So much, baby. I love you. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, 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 that's a good one. But are you saying I love you to someone? <laughs> <laughs> Last time I was here, it was an awful visit, but this time around, it's all positivity. Right. <laughs> oh, and he's such a good man. Oh, yes, he is. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I can't wait. You need to bring him home to be the bride wife. Oh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> but the, the most important thing is that I have found a man. <laughs> And he loves me so much. I know. <laughs> and then the next step would be Omogo. Omogo, Omogo, Omogo. Oh, here I come. Oh, oh yes. Omogo. Omogo. <laughs> yes. Anyway, so. anyway. So, back to my initial question. So, where exactly is he from? Mm. <coughs> the coffee? <coughs> Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Let's see. You feel better? Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> So, where's he from? <laughs> Mother, no, the, the most important thing is that he's a Nigerian, right? <laughs> he's a Nigerian and, yes. and, and he loves me and, and, and I love him too. You know, in Nigeria, we have North, South, East and West. Which part of it is it? I have a strong feeling that Davison is up to something. The length at which he's trying to prove his love for me is so alarming. I cannot trust him. But he's so intelligent, so handsome, so calm, so sweet. He's just too good in everything he does. Do you like literature? You know, poetry? Do you? Um, not really. I read more of architectural books. I do trends on uh, real estate, actually. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, I, I guess your own line of reading is quite interesting, but <laughs> nothing beats literature, honestly. Yeah, that's I, true. I, I believe literature is a mindset of the people, you know? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, by the way, I actually thought um, I taught English and literature in school. Oh, yes. really? Mm -hmm. I never knew. <laughs> I retired as a principal. <laughs> wow. Yes. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. You just reminded me of uh, my high school teachers, oh. English teacher and my literature teacher. Mm -hmm. They were both very good women. Oh, oh, women. <laughs> women make wonderful teachers, honestly. <laughs> I love teaching. Oh, by the way, thank you for the jewelries that you sent. Oh. They are beautiful. I mean, you should have seen it on my neck. Don't mention. And then my earrings were... I'm keeping them for a special occasion. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Ma. And thank that brings you. me to something else I've been meaning to ask. You love my daughter? Why can't this woman ever mind her business? You're not saying anything. Um, that's because I'm... I'm looking for the right words to qualify how much she means to me. Mm. I love her so much and I can't imagine not being around her for a second. 
you actually sound like a poet. <laughs> <laughs> you should start writing, you know. Oh, that's good to hear because I really like you. Thank and you. I know you're going to take very good care of my daughter. Of course I will. I know you would. Oh, let me go and check on my daughter. Find out what she's doing in the kitchen. Okay. For the meantime, you read this. Oh. Quite interesting. Thank you, Ma. Literature. Um, Ma, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be on my way now because it's getting late. Uh... There is no way you're leaving this house without having something to eat. If it gets that late, you stay here. We have enough rooms. Okay? <laughs> if you'll excuse me. Oh, by the way, you will sleep alone. <laughs> Coming! Pamela! What are you doing here? You're meant to be inside the kitchen cooking. Yeah. Do you... Yeah. Are you done with the food? It's... It's almost... The young man is out there waiting for the food. Eh? Is this how you're going to take care of your husband? My husband? We haven't even done introduction. You're talking about marriage. Come on, baby girl. You're heading towards that direction. The young man is waiting. Food should be ready. Oh, okay. But, you know, you don't expect me to serve him an uncooked food. So let him wait. You know what? I am not going to quarrel with you. Let's just go into the kitchen and prepare something special for him. Okay? <laughs> Back to you. Oh, sorry. Hey, come. Sorry. What is all this? Sorry, take it easy. I don't know why my mother is bent on frustrating me. Calm down. You almost broke your leg. Yeah. You need to calm down, okay? Okay. Did that hurt? Sorry. I hope you stretch it. Just lay down. Can I just lie down a little bit? I'll help you. Just go down. It's okay. Just relax. Just relax, okay? We'll just help you stretch it a little bit. Sorry. Just put some pressure, huh? Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Thank you. You need to take it easy, all right? Go easy on your mom. She loves you and she wants the best for you. Okay? I've let this happen. Listen, I I apologize. I never meant for it to be this way. As far as I'm concerned, this never happened. Yes, it never happened. I'm very sure. Yeah, I'm very sure too. Leave. I think you should leave. Yeah, sure. Am I falling for her? What the hell came over me? I'm asking you, David. What the hell came over you last night? I shouldn't have let that happen. Now she probably feels I took advantage of her. But come to think of it, that was actually my best night ever. No, I don't regret what happened. But I really do not know how she feels about it herself. This was never planned at all. 
that isn't part of our agreement. Hey, David. David Sen, what, what do you do now? What are you going to do? What should I do? Pam, darling, you know I'll be going back tomorrow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But there's something very, very important I would love us to discuss. You see that young man, Davidson? I think you should bring him to the village for um, um, a, a traditional rites, or rather for introduction. Now, see, the uncles are all beginning to talk. I don't want anyone to give you a name that is not befitting. Mama, please. You know I won't force him to get married. And, but no problem. Oh, we'll come for the introduction when he's ready. The young man is ready. He is ready, ready, ready. Like, like yesterday ready. He confided in me. He says he loves you. Yes, that he cannot live without you. What else do you expect from someone that loves you? Please, baby girl, let's not let this opportunity slip us by. There's no problem. Huh? Good. Mm -hmm. My dear daughter. Mm -hmm. You see why I love you so much? Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> oh, tomorrow, yeah? He would make you happy, um, I promise. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you tomorrow. I will miss you more, baby. <laughs> I will miss you more. I can't wait. <laughs> For me to go? No! Oh. I'm gonna miss you more. <sighs> <laughs> Okay, Mom. Uh, I'm sorry I won't be going with you to the airport. It's okay. I have an urgent meeting to prepare for. I understand. I'm okay going with David, sir. Please, do not forget what we talked about. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll miss you. I'll miss you, too. <laughs> Take care. All right, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi, darling. Hey, bye, babe. Uh -huh. of I'll see you shortly. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Bye. Here is a check of 500,000 Naira. I added a tip for you for a job well done. Take it and get lost. Thank you very much. Um, here's your car key. Drop it. Listen, I apologize for everything. I'm sorry for crossing the line. However, I... I was going to say that the little time I have spent with you and your mother means so much to me. The best time of my life. Thank you. allowed myself to this. I mean, what if I get pregnant? What if, what if, what if? My guy, this check is huge. You need to cash it and start up a business before the applications you've submitted see the light of the day. I'm not interested in the check. Don't tell me you fell in love instead of concentrating on business. Victor, this is the first time you have sounded reasonable. However, why do you have a problem with me being in love? My guy, that lady must have erased everything that has happened between you both. What you guys did was business. She has fulfilled her own part of the business. So do not embarrass me. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, she gave me a check. I haven't cashed it. And I'm very sure that my relationship with her 
It's ongoing. So why are you bothering yourself? What relationship are you talking about? My guy, stop acting funny. I don't know why I'm having this conversation with you. I think you should mind your business and focus on your final exams. Focus on law school. Because you're not even a lawyer yet. And you're judging me. You've not been called to bar. And you're acting like a judge. Maybe say what I'm giving you is legal advice. I'm not saying you shouldn't fall in love. But you must fall in love. You should fall in love with a lady in your class. Not that lady. See, do not call me to defend you when something bad happens. So, Victor, you think I'll ignore other professional lawyers and hire you to defend me in court if something bad happens? Wait until you're called to bar before you talk to me. Give me my check. Then why are you, why are you seeking for my advice? Huh? Aside all this I just told you, Cynthia, I am tired. <sighs> well, with everything you have just narrated, <laughs> I still don't think it's enough reason for you to reject this guy's proposal and be tired. You see? You see why I said you will not understand? Yes, you won't. Pamela. Step down from your high horse. Bring your pride down and see something good in this guy. If it's me that this guy is coming for, heaven knows I will grab him. First. Then go grab him. Grab him and let me be. What is your problem? I just told you I am not interested. Can't you just respect my opinion in this? Come on, Pams. Come on. Why are you flaring up? I was just trying to help you out. Why are you flaring up? You need to slow down. This is not good for you. You see, the next time, the next time this guy comes close to me, like an inch close to me, <laughs> Cynthia, I am going to get him arrested. Yeah. I swear to God, I will arrest him. Don't you even think of going there. Don't even go there. What is wrong with you? You want to call the cops on a guy who is proving his undying love for you? <laughs> even the cops will not listen to you. What is wrong with you? You want to bet me on that? If I want to bet you on that? Mm -hmm. Come on, Pams, please don't. Don't make a fool out of yourself. You're my friend, please. And I think I'm leaving. You're getting me pissed already. You know, Cynthia, I, I don't understand you. Like, whose side are you on? Are you on my side or have you declared a total support for him? Tell me. Pamela, I'll be your greatest enemy if I'm with you. Because your position is stupid and childish. And that is an insult, Cynthia. And I will take that from you. Leave my house. I should leave your house? Cynthia, leave my house this minute and don't come back. Like, I'm tired of your problem. Oh, yes, girlfriend. I'm leaving. But you can bank on this. I will definitely be back. Since you have refused to grow some sense, I will force sense to grow into you. Nonsense. Just get out. Get out! <laughs> What's wrong with this girl? Sitia is just my friend. And I'm way older than her. Why is she acting like she's more sensible and, and more intelligent than me? Why? David, look at, look at what this girl is doing to you. I've told you time without number to forget about this girl. The only reason she's not accepting you is because she can't even imagine bending down to you. This girl was once more than you and she still sees herself as one. You like to make things up, don't you? <sighs> Bro, I am not making things up. I am telling you the truth. This girl once paid you for a service you rendered to her. Something that brought you to the point you are today. Huh? She can't even imagine herself bending down to you. Bro, it is all about pride. Forget this girl and focus on your life. Victor, it is completely inconsequential trying to make you understand something you cannot understand. So I'm tired of explaining myself to you. Davidson, the only thing I want to understand is the reason you've chosen to remain daft and not open your eyes and see things clearly the way they are. I love her. I want to be with her. One part of that don't you understand? I don't even know how to help you. I mean, what is all this nonsense? 
a real man should go to where he is appreciated, not where he is tolerated. Besides, she is not even tolerating you. David says there are thousands of girls out there that are ready to love you, that are ready to worship you. I can't remember the last time I told you I'm a god and I need someone to worship me. Listen, I just want to be with someone I love, all right? Maybe if you open your eyes, you will see the real one. But where, where, where is all this coming from? I mean, from a man who, who's been a paid boyfriend to want you to be a real one. How do you think it's possible? Love makes all things possible. Sometimes I feel like hitting you real hard because I don't understand how you think. If you like hitting me, you can go ahead. I'm tired of you. Just okay. do whatever you want to do. Are you done? Cheers. Grace, where have you been? I mean, I've been here for a while. I've been at Pamela's house. Hmm. This life no just balance at all. Do you know why we are praying for God to put sugar in our mouth? Some people are busy spitting out the honey that God has already put in their own mouth. Ma, you don't understand what's going on. Why are you speaking in parables? Tell me. Davidson bought a brand new car for Pamela. And she rejected it. Really? Tell me. What does Pamela crave in a man that Davison does not have? Should I tell you the truth? Please do. It's none of my business. Mm -hmm. Yes. Whatever Pamela decides to do with Davidson, it's a bloody business I'm concerned and not mine. So please, don't meddle me with things that don't concern me. Uh, no, hold on. Why are you sounding so unbothered? Who the hell is Davidson? I mean, go into town. Go to town and see big boys. I'm talking about boys that use dollars and pounds. Guys that buy private jets to woo women. And you're here coming to tell me about some god guy, some gory idiot who went to have some sort of dealing with some scrappy, creepy mechanic and made an arrangement and bought a car to woo. I don't. Please, don't make this a topic because I'm from here in Ako. I don't understand what you're saying. I, I don't even want to talk about private jets. Mm -mm. Let's drop that one. It's a topic for another day. Ilencha, I want to ask you one realistic question and I need you to give me a very sincere and direct answer. Ne, how many cars do you have? Do not insult me. <laughs> the fact that I left the comfort of my home to come check up on you is not a reason to insult me. Maybe I should... Maybe I should go home. Oh, my darling. Look at you trying to avoid the question because you simply do not have anything reasonable to say or to even answer. You know one thing with people like you? Fake livers like you will ultimately come face to face with reality. Stay there and deceive yourself. One day you go clear for your eye. You can twist it whichever way you like it. I have made my point. Pamela is way too sophisticated for Davidson. Yes, so he should go find his class. Yeah, she may rock on the level though. She'll get size now. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes! She'll get size. The last time I checked, the guy who went down with you cannot even measure up to Davidson in any way. Yes! <laughs> and one more insult from you, I will leave your home and I will dump you both as a friend and as a sister. See, I mean everyone. Uh, no, calm down now. <laughs> I didn't mean to insult you. I only made a point. Eh? Please. Wait to Obi. Enjoy your stay. Oh, well, please come back here and fix this stuff so that I can get busy. I'm sorry. Let... Uh, listen, your face is becoming red and green. Are you sure? Are you sure? Do you, do you, like, do you actually want me to fight you? My damn private jet. Oh, please so get inside. Let me get. I want to remote. Is this the AC remote or the team? I must say, that night was the best ever. But I can't trust him. All men are the same. I have made my stand known. I don't need men for anything. I have been doing just fine without men. I 
I must start ignoring my mother. How have you been? I'm fine. You? I'm, I'm okay. Good. Uh, I'm actually here for a reason, so I'll just go straight to the point, yeah? Okay, I'm obvious. I need you to speak to your friend on my behalf. I love her, and I need you to help me talk to her. <sighs> Hold on. How is that even possible? Tell me, what transpired between you two? I mean, to the best of my knowledge, it was just a normal transaction that has its start and has equally ended. So, where is all these emotions rolling in from? You're totally right. To be very sincere with you, I... My emotions took the best part of me and I found myself in love with her and I, I can't control myself. That's why I'm here. I know you're friends with her and... I just need you to help me talk to her. Tell her I'm in love with her and I, I I can't help it. And if that is the case, I think you should talk to her yourself. I mean, I shouldn't be the one to talk to her. That's, that's exactly the point. I, I've tried to talk to her. I've tried everything humanly possible to reach out to her, but she makes things very difficult for me. And that is why I came to you. On the other hand, did, did you know anything I can do to, you know, to, I don't know. What, what do you think I can do? You know her better than I do. Your best friends, both of you are very close to each other and I feel like you might know some, some, something I can do to make her listen to me. I'd appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, please. Wow, you're so beautiful. So gorgeous. Where have you been all my life? And I've been messing around with your friend. My darling, I've always admired you from the start. And I'm grateful to Mother Nature that you're mine. It's going to Cynthia. Cynthia. Cynthia! Oh, sorry. You look completely lost. Still... Is everything okay? Yes, um, everything is fine. Did you hear everything I said? You, you were saying something? Yes, I was talking about your friend. Oh, that. <laughs> I, I was actually listening to you, then I got carried away. Oh, okay. So, so that means you heard everything I said? Yes, I did hear everything you said. Oh, okay, good. And um, I'll definitely talk to her. You don't have a problem. <laughs> I'd really appreciate that. In fact, that's the best thing you can do for me right now. It's I'll, fine. I'll be forever indebted to you if you talk to her on my behalf. I don't make empty promises. Thank you so much. I'll be on my way now. Um, are you sure you don't want me to no, make no, you no, anything? No, no, no. I, I could actually make something no, no, fast. No, 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 I'm good. I'm good. You're sure? No, I'm fine. I had something before coming already. Ah. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'll be expecting to hear from you, okay? Sure. All right. Bye. <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hey, babe. Hey. Come and see. Just hold on a little bit. Let me get the specifics. Um. I think I am getting this model. Yay! I have told you, send this to me later, okay? I will work on it and do the necessary corrections and then send it back to you. But I want to learn the procedure. I will explain that to you later. I really do not have that kind of time now. I have series of meetings to attend and I'm seriously behind my schedules. So, this can wait for later. I'll work on it later. In that case, I have to be on my way. 
So, I think I'll leave the laptop with you. Then you drop me at the junction, and then I'll take a cab. Okay. No problem. I will do the meat for. It's okay. Shall we? Quotes. Oh my, I'm sorry. Hey. You're late. I'm sorry. You said you'll be coming since morning. <sighs> well, um, I want to drop her off and Doesn't head mean. straight for a meeting. I'm, I'm so sorry. I had other stuff to attend to urgently. Okay. Sorry, but I'm here now. <laughs> so just quickly come in. Let me drop you off. You, well. okay. you didn't tell oh. me you were coming. <laughs> 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 for you to finish your first meeting then follow you up for nothing okay i know you wanted to say something but you know i'm not gonna force you to speak but now you're finally ready to talk i'm all ears well it's about the same thing you always know i mean it's davidson please i don't want to hear anything about that guy okay our advice you shouldn't go for that babe I understand your problem is pride. But what I don't know is if you want to turn to a feminist. Tell me so I'll stop disturbing you and then I will be the first person to go and call your mother and inform her. What is your problem, Cynthia? What part of this do you not understand that I don't want? That you don't want? Um, Pamela, you have been my friend for a very long time. And I know you have not experienced true love. But come on, baby. I mean, this is your chance. Why don't you grab this opportunity and get a man to, you know, be in love with? This guy truly loves you. You know what? I'm not going to disturb you about this anymore. You just drop me at the next junction. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, yes. I just opened it. Okay. Um, in the file explaining the marketing strategy, there is no one you identified as your target market or main consumers of your products. Importantly, in marketing, we must not ignore our competitors as they are threat to our business. As a business is strategizing to succeed. They are strategizing to bring us down, to bring our business down, to bring our hard work down. So we must always, always include them. You must always put them into consideration. So when all this is being taken care of, the business can now focus on product improvements, packaging, and good customer services.
Hi, what? Ha. I am so impressed. I am very, very impressed for this presentation. Thank you. In fact, your employer should count themselves lucky for having a brain like you in their company. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alaji Tanko. But I am no one's employee. I am my own employer. I run my business. Ella, 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 Lahu. Gaskele, you are telling me the truth. Hey, I am so impressed. I am happy. Thank you. In fact, I have no other option than to give you the contract. King and one na project. You see this project? It's yours. I give you. But I hope you guys will not disappoint me. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll let you tank you know, I don't believe in talking too much. I believe in doing my job and letting my good work speak for me. Alaji Tanko, when we are done rebranding your company, Tanko T will be in the lips of everyone before the end of this year. I like what you said. I know very, very well that this project will cost us very big money. I'm a Nile Alahaji Tanko. No I am Alahaji Tanko. Kingani, I must find the money. I will give you the money. Thank you, Alahaji. Um, how about we go to Ikuza restaurant? I can take you somewhere down the seaside. Haba, Kingani Anangui. You see everywhere. I am used to it. I am very, very used to everywhere. Uh, no, Alaji Tanko, I strongly doubt. There are other places you've not seen. Alaji Tanko, you are sitting as the CEO of a company with an annual turnover of over 2 billion naira. Please, permit me to take you to somewhere very nice. Somewhere you would love to be. Trust me, I got you on this and views of me. Hello, Angela. <laughs> No problem at all. All right. Eh? Surprise. I wasn't expecting to see you. Yeah, yeah, sure, have a seat. Uh, so you came on announced. Uh, I'm sure you have good news for me. How's your friend, Pamela? Is she alright? Yeah, Pamela is fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, listen, I'm here to give you something better than what you've been yearning for. What did you say? I said I'm here to give you something better than what you've been yearning for. You are here to give me something better than what I have been. I have been yearning yeah, for. And yeah. what could that be? Um, <laughs> um the thing is, um, um, <laughs> um <laughs> wait. I hope this is not what I think it is. Hey, 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 stop! Listen, let's be civil here. Alright, what's the problem? I'm, I'm actually here to solve all the problem. You are here to solve what problem exactly? Isn't it obvious that Pamela does not even love you? I'm here, I'm not here. Wait, wait! Are you trying to harass me sexually? Is that what you're trying to do? When you know that I am with your friend, Pamela. I'm doing it emotionally. Stop it! <laughs> you know what? Please, excuse me. All right, time to leave. Listen, I don't want to be rude. And I don't want to throw you out myself. Just quietly leave, please. Davidson, listen. I said leave. I, 
I'm just being a gentleman, just because I don't want to throw you. Look, hey, stop it! Get out! Like seriously, what nonsense is this? What? I don't understand. She knows I am with her friend. Pamela, why, why is she doing this? She's trying to betray her friend. Dave. Yep. What if she really loves you and not trying to betray her friend? Victor, the fact that you bagged a first class in philosophy before you proceeded to law school does not give you the right to sound logical in everything. Where's the logic in this? Hey, I didn't just read law. Right. I'm a lawyer and in practice. Mm. So far, I've not lost any case. Right. You see, this is a clear case of betrayal. Yes, but you're trying to give it a new name, but I'm not going to take that from you. Davidson, you cannot call this betrayal. Okay. She has said no to you severally. Mm -hmm. She made it obvious to you that she hired you and paid you off. And her friend decided to try her luck with the rejected one. Davidson, tell me, how is that betrayal? Victor, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to confuse me with philosophy. But I'm not going to buy that. For the last time, she is a gold digger. And let me ask you a question. If I was a pauper on the street, would she look my way? Davidson, you are not a pauper. You can never be a pauper. Let us be realistic here. In the real sense of empirical achievement, who do you think you are? Hmm? Davidson, you need to understand me and forget Pamela. Quite understood. But I still do not know where you're coming from. And if I'm to be practical with you, I'm neck deep into Pamela. And I can't forget about her, I'm sorry. Then keep receiving her insults. Victor, you know you need to watch what you say to me. Davidson, you are too blind to understand me. And I won't blame her friend. Since Pamela has refused to see the importance in you, she has decided to make the move. And I am not interested. How are you? How are you? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Are you serious? So can't I just come visit my friend again? I'm, I'm sorry. It's just that you got me by surprise. Oh, really? Okay. So how are you? Huh? How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Did you speak with Davidson? Oh, please, not again. Cynthia, can you just stop seeing Davidson around me? What's your problem? Sorry, I... You know, I thought you had a discussion with, with him and then... That's why you're here to discuss about it with me. <laughs> Hell no. I was just around the neighborhood, so I decided to stop by to come see you. <laughs> okay, um... How about... A drink. Mm. Come on, go dress up. I want to take you out. Wow, that sounds so interesting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get my wig and then change into something sweet, sexy, and classy. I know you. <laughs> I love that wig. All right. Uh. So that um, model that I was telling you about. How do you go about it? Okay. That's my little secret. Really? Mm-hmm. You're not going to tell me? No. <laughs> no. Uh, Cynthia, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh-uh. You know. You that I know would have started conversing about Davidson. Now sitting here pretty and calm. Come on. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with you? Maybe because she hasn't been opportune to meet with some top rich men in the society. 
You know my advice to you? I think you should get yourself some classy outlet for your clothing line. So that you can get to meet important people in this society. Come on. Stop being naive. No. No. I am not naive. And then I make sales running my online business. I don't even need outlets. The reason I even talked about Davidson to my friend is because this guy is the only person who's been constantly proving his undying love for her. But as usual, she's blind to that fact. The fact that she is blind to it means that he is doing nothing. I hate that guy. I am not <sighs> his fan. I won't even buy him for free. I hate his okay, face okay. and his guts. Okay, 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 girls, please. It's okay. We just came here to have fun and ease of stress, right? Mm. So come on, drink up. Drink just up. take your drink. You're not even drinking anything yet. I David Singh this. Oh, but wait please. a minute, Bridget. Did you just say you hate David Singh? I hate him. Oh my god. <laughs> take it, girl. Like, <laughs> hey. <laughs> That reminds me. Mm. I went to this company. Okay. Star King's company. Mm. I never knew their MD is such a cutie. As I stepped in with my hot body con. Hey. Jesus Christ. Hey. You just so like me. No, 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 no. Point of correction. I don't like men. I love being some rich men. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, Pamela. You are such a genius. I mean, how? How did you come up with this? Like, I've tried practically everything. <laughs> I couldn't do this. How did you come about this? Tell me you are impressed. This is so wonderful. Okay. <laughs> I never thought about it this way. Come on, girl. You're welcome. You should know I'm older than you in this business. Come on. Come on. You're sick. I'm deleting this. <laughs> you know I'm grateful for this way. I know. Thank you're you so welcome. Much. So why were you not work today? Tell me. Oh. I will be going in late. I have a meeting with no nonsense allergy tanko. We need to give him a progress report on how far we've gone with his project. Oh. Yeah. Alhaji Tanko. Same Alhaji Tanko that I know. The T man. Yes. Same man. We are rebranding his company. So. I give up. You're such an institution in this business. Like, you're taking over. You're ahead in everything. Oh, you're welcome. Goodness. But please, you're can welcome. I come with you? Hell no. No. It's an official meeting. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's not going to be possible. Hey. So. Did you say so? So now there is this other model that I'm trying to shuffle that I also need you to help me with since you've become the biggest genius. Not again. Not again. Mom! You, you, you didn't tell me you were coming. You, you didn't call. I should send you a note to inform you that I'm visiting, right? Um, yeah, of course. You, you're welcome. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, young lady. How are you? I'm good. And I hope you had a smooth journey down here. It was a beautiful walk, thank you. If you'll excuse me. Yeah, well, you know, you, you should have called. <laughs> but it's fine, of course, you're welcome. You're welcome. Your mom is here. I have to leave. Please. No, please. Just, I do not just, want just the trouble. Okay. Madam, get married. Get married today. Get married tomorrow. You must get married today. Today, 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 today. I'm off my Bridget! 
don't blame you. You knew I was here, yet you left me without letting me know. I was late for a meeting. Oh, meeting. Meetings, meetings, meetings. That is all you talk about. These meetings stop you from finding yourself a husband, someone to marry you and take care of you. You need to settle down and forget about these meetings. By the way, where is Davidson? Davidson and I are no longer together. <laughs> oh, gee, I knew that was going to happen. No, I knew it was going to happen. You're no longer together. My darling daughter, you are a failure. I'm not a failure, and you know that. You're not a failure. Yet you let a handsome man, caring and loving man like Davidson, slip through your fingers, and you tell me you're not a failure? Okay, I get you. You're not a failure. But you know what the problem is? You have a spiritual problem. There is something definitely wrong with you. I don't have a problem. I can't be so desperate to set for a man. You can't be desperate for marriage. You are 30 years old. Look at you. Heading towards your grave, and you're saying you can't be desperate. You had better be desperate, young woman. I got married to your father at age 18. I still managed to build myself a career. I am a retired principal, and you know that. But look at you. Moroniki, young woman that has all the money in the world, but no love and nothing, no happiness. Okay, that's it, Mom. I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. You are running. Keep running. I'll tell you the truth. Baby girl, you need a man to look at all that come. Look at all, look at all that. Yet you have no man to, 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 to touch you and make you feel like a woman. I don't need a man. You do need a man. Look at your lips all cracked. You need someone to mm, kiss you and make you, you know, touch everywhere. I can do that for myself. Oh, please, you can't do it for yourself. You need a man to do it to you. I mean, what is all this? What's happening? Look at this gorgeous young girl. You need to be, you know, Someone needs to do it. You are obviously. Mother, someone needs to do it. Don't do those hips, baby girl. Keep running. I, your mother, will keep telling you the truth. I mean, how can a young girl this beautiful exist without. Oh my God. I need to talk some sense into her. Oh, Thank you. Uh, you want eight to five hundred? Hmm? Oh, sorry for messing up your table here. Drink up, please. How, how do you expect me to leak my bottle of water and drink from, from this? You know, all this while I've been coming here, you've been proving stubborn. But today, I am not letting you go. You see this water? You must drink it. I still don't understand why I should leak my bottle of water and drink this. This water is holy water from the prophet. If you will not take it, I will have to force it down your throat. Now, before you take this water, you pray into it. You know what we're praying for? We're asking God to give us a husband. It doesn't matter how the husband comes, whether he's blind or he can see, whether he's short or fat, eh? if he can walk or live, it doesn't matter. The fact remains that he is a husband. So please drink up and don't let me force you. Okay, mom. I won't. I'm sorry. You know I won't do that. I told you I don't want to get married. It's okay. We'll now see you. Have no, Mom, I said I don't want to get married. You can't force me. Stop! Open, open my mouth! Stop! Can you stop it? I'm sorry, but I don't want to get married. I don't want to... I have an early start tomorrow. Please don't start. May don't just start now. the Please. spirit of the Lord come down. May the spirit of the Lord come down. Come. Now you've started taking your bath with the holy water. I think we need to back it up with prayers. So my dear darling daughter, just kneel down and pray with your mother. Oh, please. 
I don't want to pray, okay? Men are coming, yeah? But I don't want them. I don't need any of them. How else am I going to make you understand this? Father in heaven, I come before you with all humility and I ask you to intervene. You are the God of the universe. You know what our problems are. As our faces are different, so are our problems. You know what my daughter is going through. And it is only you, Lord, that can see her through. I beg of you, Father, intervene in whatever is bothering my daughter. Oh, Save oh her, God, Father. You're just lying to Deliver her. Deliver her from whatever is happening nothing, to her, Father. Father, to find a man that will love my daughter. I mean, she's too beautiful to waste. You said a man and a woman would come together and give birth to children. Let a man come that will touch my daughter. That will make her feel like a woman. It's only natural. There must be a man to kiss her. Um, where do you think you're going, young woman? Um, I just want to quickly pick up a few things and also inform Cynthia that you're around. I told you to inform me before taking your shower, and you've already done that. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Mom. I mean, how on earth should I take permission from you before having my bath? <laughs> you don't understand. You see, the holy water you've been taking is not just for drinking. You're meant to mix it with your bathing water and then use it to have a bath. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> well, I don't have a problem. And I don't need a man. It doesn't really matter what you want or what you do not want. The bottom line is that you're going back upstairs for a second shower. You know what? I'm not going out again. Better. So you walk straight into your bathroom. I'm right behind you, darling. You know you're not going to try it out again. Oh, I'm done I'm trying it. Baby. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't matter if you see yourself as a baby or not. This is how to measure it. A full bowl, this bowl, okay? If I step out of this bathroom, this water is going down the drain, and I'm not going to allow that. So you're just going to stand there and watch me birth? I gave birth to you. I've seen it all. You know what? I can actually help. What's going on? You called me, you were coming since morning and... <laughs> What's wrong? My mom. My mother, she's around. Oh, that's nice. How is she and um, when did she arrive? She has been around for a few days now. Cynthia Devilman is making life a living hell for me. She insisted I had a problem. And so I need a spiritual help. How? Since she made me bath twice and renewed my makeup, I just had to quickly do another makeup. Why? She came with this uh, holy water she said she got from her prophet. She said I must have to drink and bath with it. Cynthia, this whole thing is just so frustrating. <laughs> Come on, my darling. Without being told, don't you know or think that something is definitely wrong with you? Huh? How can a beautiful girl like you reject every man that comes her way? Tell me. How can you be saying you don't need a man? I'm not even talking about Davidson. I'm talking about every man you have ever come across. The reason I'm even particular about Davidson is because this is the only guy that has proven his undying love for you. What is wrong with you? Must you always talk? Of point. <laughs> I'm talking of point. 
Pamela, let me ask you a question. When last did you get linked by a man to have real orgasms? <sighs> Tell me, how do you satisfy your urge? Or don't you have blood running through your veins? Cynthia, please, enough. Enough already. I just came here to rest. Let's stop worrying me with your religious stories and artists. By now, you should know that I am a realist and not a religious fanatic. So please just sit down. Well, you can say whatever thing you want to say is actually not my business. But deep inside your heart, you know that what I'm telling you is nothing but the truth. Cynthia, please sit down. I have a lot going on already. Just sit down. We can sit out here and talk. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Cynthia, this woman is frustrating me so much. Mm. She is. It's fine. It's fine. Just come. Let's go inside, okay? You feel better. Trust me. I'm worried. You remember how we prayed and tried for your father when he was ill? For him not to die, but he eventually passed on. You know, God in his infinite mercy compensated me by, by making you rich. If I may ask, I mean, how come you made it so early in life? How come you're this rich? Mom. Yes. Are you in any way insinuating that I may have compromised myself in ritual or any form of diabolic art. Listen to me. I am your mother. You can tell me the truth. I, I will not. Are you being serious right I, I now? I condemn you. I would rather help. You know, this is so disappointing coming from you, my mother. Well, if you must know, I worked so hard to get to where I am today. I never compromise myself, not for one day. Well, that's good to know. Uh -huh. But then again, how come you've not allowed a man into your life? Well, why? What do I need a man for? What do you need a man for? You know? Not just that. Not just that. Someone you can confide in. You know what, let's not talk about that now. I think this is the right time to pray. All right, just bring out your Bible. We'll pray before I go to my room. No, oh, please. I don't want to pray. I just want to stay. You don't want to pray? Turn on the lights, please. Father in heaven, I adore magnify your name. I beg you, Father, to touch this, my daughter. No, can you just she talk to must me? learn to pray, Father. You created her in your image to no, worship her. Can you, can you, just father. Stop. Can you, you just must stop. know God whether you like it or not. Let's work on this. Mama. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe you too. <laughs> How have you been? been good, ma. So good to see you. Please so sit. You, you know, the last time I visited, I didn't see you. Where were you? Oh, Mama, I traveled to the village that period. Really? You traveled to the village? Yeah. That is a nice one. Oh, look at you. You traveled to the village. Unlike some people that I know, they never travel to the village. And even when the villagers come to visit, they don't even appreciate it. Uh, I know the remark is about me. And you know that that is not true. Hello, but it is true. No, because you don't like me coming here to talk about you settling down. By the way, Cynthia, do you even advise your friend to, you know, find someone to settle down with? She should get married. Uh, oh. um, Mama, I think there should be a way around this. I honestly wasn't expecting all of this. Oh, really? Yeah. I see. Well, the point is, um, you are more of an African woman than my daughter. She is so westernized, she feels she shouldn't get married. Can you imagine that? Uh, and if that happens to be the choice of a woman, shouldn't that be respected? I mean, we're all 
overdoing things in this Africa. I wasn't talking to you. Duh. <laughs> anyway, Cynthia, yeah. if I may ask, are you married or have you found yourself someone? I know you have, right? Don't even look on that face. It's obvious you're just like my daughter. Birds of the same feather flock together. No wonder you're such good friends. But let me advise you both. You see, as young girls, you should, you know, forget about all the makeup and everything. It's just to cover up the wrinkles. A young girl's life is like a, a rose flower that blooms today and the next day it fades. No one is getting any younger. Find yourselves men, huh? whatever, and settle down and have your children. All right? <laughs> yes, Mama. Um, we are definitely getting married soon. Very soon. How soon? Very, very soon, Mama. We're just waiting for the right man and the right time. Nothing else. We? Uh, you. You are waiting for the right man. I mean, <laughs> there is no right man anywhere. No right man. I'm not waiting for any right man. Did you hear that? I mean, who has done this to me? I mean, which of my enemies? Enemy number one, number two, or three? Which of them? Or maybe all of them? How can my own daughter tell me she's not? Oh my God, I can't believe this. She makes my life so miserable. It's not fair. Mama, don't worry, we're getting married. I'm trying not to cry, but I can't help it. Oh God, what's going on here? Mama, ah, I feel bad. Oh, oh, just too bad. Oh my God, look at these girls. Oh, just check out their figures. But you know what? In the next five, ten years, they won't have such fantastic figures again. Uh huh. Even the nose won't be that long anymore. It will be very. She was obviously driving me crazy and she was being so dramatic. Let's look for a comfortable place to hang out, okay? But listen, she's right. I mean, I, I wish I had much admirers the way you do. I would have been long married by now. And I know if I had left you, you would have mentioned Davidson because uh, you run mouth so much. Let's go. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, this was exactly the reason I didn't want to follow you to Pamela's house. <laughs> Bridget, I don't understand why you're laughing so much. This is not funny. Moreover, I'm still thinking of joining her prayer session because I seriously need a husband. <laughs> hey, you're not serious. You are really not serious. I thank God that I'm not among the group of women that believe that having a man is the best thing that ever happened to them. If I need to get laid, you don't know. I know how to get it, Asa. Men are very cheap. But marriage? Marriage is a no for me. Honestly, I hate that gender. They are so cunning. How am I supposed to live with them? I swear there is no man out there that is not a liar and a cheat. I hate them so much. Are you still here? <laughs> My dear. Such generalization smacks up illiteracy. I mean, there are still exceptions out there. Exceptions, my foot. Exceptions what? Those that deceive you and brainwash you into being different. Come, Cynthia. Did you just call me an illiterate? But you concluding that the reference was on you is what makes it illiteracy. You shut up before I slap you. Are you mad? You, know what? you, you called me an illiterate? Pamela. You have always wanted to slap me in your own house, and now you are at mine, you still want to beat me up. Okay, oh. <sighs> what on earth is wrong with my daughter? I mean, what's going on here? She never used to be like this. Of course, until 
after she graduated, she, she became a totally different person. So stubborn. I don't understand it. What went wrong? I should be happy. My daughter is a graduate and doing very well for herself. But then there's this problem of not wanting to get married. I, I don't get it. And that really makes me sad. I don't understand. <sighs> Very soon, just very soon, people will begin to talk, wag their tails, wondering why she, she's still single. She's beautiful. Any man would want her. She is so, so, so stubborn. So, so, so stubborn. What do I do about this? Hmm. It's worrisome, it's worrisome, it's worrisome, it's worrisome. Come in. It's obvious I'm disturbing your peace, so um, I did first thing tomorrow morning. Well, we're done with the first gallon of holy water. And here's the second one. You already know how to administer it, so I, I guess um, you'll just take care of this. Um, no, Mom. I won't be needing it. So um, kindly go back with it, okay? It's obvious you're the one that doesn't really want to get married. But I am praying. That with the power of the Holy Spirit, the good Lord would change your mind. But, in case you do not change your mind, please, when I die, do not come for the burial. Else I would torment you for the rest of your life. <laughs> Mom, it's okay. That's words too harsh. Okay. Listen. If you need grandchildren, I will adopt them for you. I can't just go through the stress of men, please. I want you to understand that. Are you adopted? Water, Mom. I thank God that finally your mom is gone. Okay, that explains it. So that's why you've refused to come check up on me all this while. I mean, your mom is a handful. I don't even know how you manage her. I don't want her troubles. I know, right? <laughs> She is indeed. Ah. Mm. So, come in. Are you expecting me? That must be my gate. Come. Hello. Hi. What the hell are you doing here? Hi, Bob. What the hell are you doing here? It's, it's been a while. I... <sighs> How are you? How have you been? You been, been good? Um... How are you, my love? Listen, I know... It's... I know you're surprised to see me. I know... This is, I know it's a crazy time to, to see me. 
However, you know, we... You know, I, I decided to... Can you just save your useless salmon and get out of my house? I decided to stay calm because we tend to make lots of mistakes when we are in a hurry, yeah. However, I, I just came back from a business trip and I thought of getting something really special for you. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a wristwatch quite luxurious. You're going to like it. going to like it. It's, it's quiet, so. Take this and get out of my house. I mean, do I look like I can't afford luxury? For God's sake, why are you opening the prison door for yourself? Why are you constantly disturbing a lady who clearly told you that she is not interested? Take this and leave my house. Sure. Take it. Get out. <clears throat> My manners, I didn't say hello. Excuse you. <laughs> That's my girl. That is my girl. I love the energy and the class that you employ in dealing with shitty characters like him. I'm telling you, girl, if this guy tries this next time, I swear I am going to get him arrested. Like, I'm not even joking. You don't need to tell me. If I were in your shoes, I would have done that a long time ago. Ah, I trust you. You are, you are, you are the first daughter of wickedness. Like, you're sweetly wicked in a sweet way. <laughs> I am the queen of wickedness. Have you read that wholesome, life-changing article by Ugezi J. Ugezi? It's quite an exposition. It's titled, Good People Play Young. <laughs> and I'm not ready to die young, so I stay wicked. Stay wicked. Keep the energy. <laughs> Keep it locked down. <laughs> you know me, I would say my own. Eh? I don't know why you keep concerning and disturbing yourself about matters that are none of your business. Let Pamela be for crying out loud. I don't know why you like disturbing yourself. Pamela this, Pamela that. You don't like rest for this your life. You know, sometimes you baffle me. I'm surprised you're not talking some sense into your friend. Oh, she's no longer your friend. Come on, don't get it twisted. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, when a woman begins to treat a man in a certain way, that only means that she's not interested. I don't know why that guy keeps coming back, acting like such a cheap to act. Please say something else. Listen, I wish not to dabble in the matters that concerns Pamela and David. At this point, I don't wash my hands. <laughs> allow me, allow me, allow me, but I thought you're his man. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Stop it. Oh my goodness, God. Please, 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 please. Dukwani Kedan. Rest in Jesus' name. Please, 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 please. Please. I have watched Pamela reject so many guys. The reason I even tried to advocate for Davidson is because I feel he's just an exception. 
Why do you think so? I don't. You know what? I'm done with this interview. I'm going in. Ah. You will tell me, oh, hey. And as I'm coming in there, you're going to give me something <laughs> very chilled. This car has been following me. I hope you know what I'm thinking. I hope this is not what I'm thinking. So when you called me, I didn't understand what you were saying over the phone. What happened? What didn't you understand? That a car was trailing her. She diverted and drove to a police facility and then they zoomed off. That means the car was not after her. Because the car would have stopped and the driver feel disappointed, but it drove past. I know what I saw. I know how they were following me. The experience was really a terrible one. If not for the way I handled it, I may have gotten adopted. What I saw. <sighs> Pam, just calm your nerves, okay? Did you make a report at the police station? No, I couldn't. The, 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 they've already left and there was nothing I could show for. Anyway, um, I mean, I don't want to say my mind so you don't feel otherwise, but um, I may have to say it, Pamela. You are stressing yourself just too much. Who would want to, I mean, who would gain from hurting you? I mean, you're not dragging any man with any woman, are you? So to you, you feel the only reason one can send assassins is when they are dragging a man with someone? Assassins! <sighs> Pamela, please, please stop. I mean, Cynthia, tell her, I think you need to go home, take a cold bath and, and sleep, please. <sighs> Pam. You need to calm down, okay? Listen, I agree with Bridget. It's getting late. You need to go home. Except you want to sleep over. And you know you have a room here, so please make yourself comfortable, okay? Cynthia, I know what I saw. I, I was the one driving. Uh, the experience was really terrible. I know, I know what I experienced. I know, it's fine. It's fine, okay? 
Just calm down. It's fine. It may not even be that deep. Right? I mean... Some people are here to see you. Some people are here to see me? Yes, sir. But I am not expecting anyone. All right, let them in. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good day, gentlemen. How can I help you? I am Inspector Jude, and uh, here with me is my colleague, Sergeant Peters. Sir. We have a warrant for your arrest, sir. A warrant for my arrest? Yes, sir. I am a law-abiding citizen. What are you arresting me for? Uh, well, sir, when we get to the station, you will have all the answers to your questions. Can we go, sir? All right, that's fine. Let's go. Thank you. Take care of the house, all right? Let's go, please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. if not for your lawyer. You need to tread carefully because of the undertaking you have signed. That if anything happens to her, <laughs> you are in for it. I hope you know that. Sir, I can assure you nothing is going to happen to her. I know we both have our differences, but everything is fine. I know she refused to marry me, but that's not enough reason for me to hurt her. I can never hurt her. DPO. I know this man from charge of it. He is innocent. However, you need to carry out more investigations. I think something is not right. You are not here to teach us our job. My men are trying their best. Your friend here is really a suspect. I'm releasing him based on the undertaking you have signed. Note, we are still investigating. Thank you so much for understanding. You're welcome. Like the lawyer said, you need to carry out an investigation, a proper investigation, because that's the only way I can be vindicated. We shall see to that. Thank you. Thank you, the hero. Honestly, I'm so scared. I think I have to go home with one of you. Come up it. David Sin has already signed an undertaking. And the police is carrying their investigation. I mean, if you were not going to be safe in this house, they'll be the one to tell you. You know, I still wonder how and why Davidson was named the prime suspect. Come on, what if he's not the one? From the look of things, babes, I mean, by the time you put the bits and pieces of all that has happened, you would obviously discover that he is the one. Really? Yes. And what if he is not obviously the one? Excuse you? You know, Cynthia, you are not even excluded in this. Because uh, I'm beginning to think you have a hand in this. What? Yes. But you always take inside with him, yeah? Mm-hmm. You are. You are a suspect. Cynthia, I suspect you. <sighs> Hold on. Now, on that note of associating me to a crime I have never thought of committing, 
I better be out of here before. Oh, please, leave immediately. I mean, what are you still sitting for you to do? Leave. Bridget. Perry, leave. It's okay, it's okay. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just scared. I'm so scared. I'm very scared. Come on. Listen. You don't need to be scared, okay? The police is already handling the matter and you should trust them to do a good job. Davison, I'm not happy with you at all. I am not happy with you. Look at the way the divisional police officers we are talking to us like common criminals. For crying out loud, this girl is ready to implicate you and send you to jail. Barista Victor, I'm sorry. I, uh, I understand how you feel. But we need to find the person who's trying to kill her because I can't leave her like that. <laughs> Davidson, you're still talking about somebody trying to kill her. Huh? Your name is more important in this case. Besides, it, it, this could be a mere coincidence. She might be hallucinating about the attack. How possible is that? She said... They knocked on her door. Um, that is hallucination. My guy, see, you need to forget this girl. Huh? You need to let her go. Give yourself a chance. You need to get another girl in your life. A girl that will love you. A girl that will understand you. A girl that will be ready to die for you. Everything is rather becoming too confusing. I, I, the police, they're not even helping matters. Davidson. I think you need to take the DPO's advice and be very careful. This girl is ready to do anything to, to, to implicate you and, and you will see yourself inside a correctional center. There are so many innocent souls there. Thank you for your swift response. I, I appreciate it. Bro, you don't need to thank me. Forgetting this girl will be the beginning of a new era in your life and you need to forget her. Mom, it's, it's more complicated than I thought. I don't know. Also, when I don't know, hired assassins to kill me. They've been trailing me for some days now. They, they, they came to my house and, and harassed my gate man and they were even banging at my door. Yes, yes, I, I have briefed the police about it and they're on it now. I'm so scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I don't know what to do, I'm scared. I can't leave the house, I'm scared. Okay, yes, uh, I'm thinking of checking into a hotel. Or just stay there until everything dies off. Okay, okay, I'll keep you posted. I'll, I'll let you know. All right, Mom. All right. Thank you. Hello? Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama, don't worry. I'll be fine. I just want to be on the low for now. I will have to set up my office to run effectively in my absence. And yes, after that, I will come. I will come and be with you. I will come stay with you. Mama, let me, let me be back in. I'll, I'll call you, okay? <laughs> I hope no one followed you. Pamela, I'm surprised you left the opulence of your house to come here and be holed up. What's happening to you? What are you doing in this stuffy room? First, you asked me not to tell anyone I was coming here. And now you're asking if someone saw me. Bridget, I'm so scared. 
I'm scared. I don't know who is after my life. And I'm scared they might come for me and, and, and just kill me just like that. I can continue staying in the house. And I'm planning on go going to spend some time with my mom. You mean you're going to leave your business? Your thriving business because of that classless low life called Davidson? I don't know who is after me and staying back here is not the best option. Davidson is not innocent. Anyways, listen, this may just be a normal robbery. Bridget, I've never been so close to death like this all my life. I'm so scared. And I hope you didn't tell Cynthia because I didn't let her know. Please, don't. You know, Cynthia is a big fan of Davison and she's willing to give in any details about me. Please, remember Davison is still a prime suspect. Please. Everything you have been saying is making sense. But going back to the village, I'm not going to allow that. This is my life we are talking about. I have the right to make any decisions. Please. <laughs> from this late. Babes, please, you won't understand. I'm so tired and famished. I think I'll be sleeping in your place today because it's actually very late for me to go home. Okay, um, that's not the problem. By the way, have you heard from Pamela? No, no, no. Why do you ask? Because she's offline and I can't even reach her as well. Pamela is on the run. Since the kidnap attempt, she's been so scared. She made Davidson the prime suspect. Hmm, I know. But see, I still don't think he did it. But you never can trust anybody these days. You know, please. Cynthia, I'm famished and so tired. Please, can you make me something to eat? I should go in there and make you something to eat. As what? Your house help or what? Cynthia, come up with now. Please, you're not that wicked. Please, I told you I'm tired. My friend, will you come in and get yourself something to eat? Please. Please. Cynthia, I do not want too much pepper. You know, say, you be revering babe and too they like pepper. I beg, no go use pepper, kill my enemy. You can make it a little, just a little salt here and there, onion. But I beg, no kill me with pepper. Just a little spicy. Yeah, there you go. No more nonsense from that thing you call a mouth while like, you go in and make something for yourself to eat. Hmm. Sorry, Auntie. Bridget, I, I want you to accompany me to my office. I mean, I need to set up a structure that will enable them function very well in my absence. Pamela, why are you still scared? Your gatekeeper is still in your house and he's not complaining. If they wanted to kill anyone, they would have killed him first. My gate man was never their target, for they saw him that night and they did nothing to him. I am their main target. And I, if they see me, I, I wonder what they would do to me. So please, are you coming with me or not? It's okay. I'll come with you. But at least we'll have to wait for the tilted cab that we ordered for. Or do you just want us to go into the streets and flag down a taxi? Um, God forbid, God forbid. Then sit still and wait. No problem. We'll wait.
Je t'en prie Alors So, um, I'll let you know when it is time to sign those contracts. So far, business is good. I told them in China that um, I'll get you involved. So, um, that's my take on it. But business is good so far. Okay. So, that's fine. Say it's fine. Where is Pamela? Excuse you, point of correction. Pamela doesn't live here. What is going on here? You are pretending not to know what is going on. Officers, arrest this man. Sir, you're under arrest. What am I being arrested for this time? Please, when you get to the station, we will tell you. Officer, please, can I see your warrant? Hello? Why are you according him so much respect? Arrest him immediately. Oh, sir, please, can you move it? Mr. Man, I want to see your warrant, please. Oh. Barrister, I'm releasing him to you based on the condition and the assurance that you're going to provide him to me anytime, any day. We need him for questioning. Sure. And I appreciate you for reposing that confidence in me. Producing him anytime is needed is not going to be a problem at all. Good. Lawyers like you made this work easy for us. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, Barrister Jide, for coming immediately. You know, as I was at the scene of the arrest, I needed a lawyer to stand in for me for the bail. That's not a problem, for I know you will do the same for me if the table is turned. Based on the police calculations and the undertaking, Davidson signed already. If anything happens to the said missing lady, he is a prime suspect. I still want to make something very clear. I'm very innocent. My hands are clean. I have nothing to do with all of these allegations. We both wanted to get married. 
I wanted her to be my wife. She refused. So I moved on. That's exactly the point we are going to prove in court when the time comes. As of now, the lady is still missing and you are a suspect. I feel the ongoing investigation by the police is very slow. If it were faster, I probably would have been vindicated by now. You know, sometimes the police are slow in their investigation. Nevertheless, I think this is the time we have to do our individual findings. But we have to be very careful not to interfere in the police investigation. Exactly. So, Davidson, do you know of anyone that could be a suspect? Well, I'm not very sure, but something tells me Cynthia, her friend. Cynthia? What could be her interest? Cynthia, I'm in so much pain. Bridget, I'm so scared right now. Are you sure they will not show you here? What? You want to throw me out? No. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, I am scared. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. What? What is going on here? Officers, our friends are here. Ladies, who amongst you is Cynthia? I'm the one. Cynthia, you are under arrest in connection with the kidnap of Miss Pamela. Davidson, what is going on? So this betrayer you call a friend made passes at me. And just because I refused, she tried to get Pamela off the way so she can have her way with me. Oh no, that's not true. That is not true. This is unbelievable. Cynthia, you mean all this while you were conversing for Davidson in favor of Pamela, you were indirectly conversing for yourself? Cynthia, you mean to tell me you're in love with Davidson? That is not true. Listen, Bridget, I can explain everything to you. Do not listen to everything they are saying. It is not true. You and I know that I can never in any way hurt Pamela. Pamela is like a sister to me. Officers, please do your job. Move it. May I remind you that you have the right to remain silent. For anything you say or do may be used against you in the court of law. And of course, you have the right to have Anthony. Please move. Move, move, madam. Please leave immediately. Don't touch your picture. Please go with them. You're so wicked. Move it, move it, move it. Evil. Evil! Sir, God saved me. God saved my soul. All the while that Pamela was complaining, I thought it was a joke until they attacked us and, and left me with a broken arm and took Pamela away. Sir, please, pick you. Do something. It's okay. Sorry about that. Sir, please, we need your help. Please, you need to do everything you, in your power to ensure that she comes back. Up until now, I haven't gotten any call from anyone asking for a ransom or anything like that. Sir, please, we need your help. I'm assuring you that uh, the culprits will be brought to book. All I want both of you to do is be very careful. Be very, very careful until we apprehend those culprits and you're brought to book. No problem. Just be careful. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. It's okay. Thank you. Madam, sorry. Okay? Everything will be okay. Thank you, sir. It's all right. Have a nice day. Easy, easy.
Can I give you a ride home? I'm fine. But looks like uh, your hand hurts. I said I am fine. Besides, the difference between you and Cynthia is the fact that you still have your freedom because of the, all the lawyers you surround yourself with. As far as I'm concerned, you both are suspects. <sighs> Maybe I need to remind you that Pamela is my life and I can never do anything to hurt her. Love can be poisonous, especially when it's one-sided. And to the best of my knowledge, Pamela has never shown you and will never show you love. Listen, I, are you expecting me to hurt Pamela? Because you make me feel that way. You can never tell who's behind the picture. Either the devil or an angel. And now get the message clearly. Pamela will never love you. You can have a good day, Mr. Davidson. Where are you? Like I've been waiting for... Yes! Blue Bridge Junction! Where are you? You're making me wait and making everybody talk to me. This is our torture room. If you say the truth, you can be set free. I need you to tell me the truth. Because if you don't, I will call my men to torture you. Officer. For a week now, I do not know Pam's whereabouts. <laughs> you people have brought me here. You people have tortured me. You have done everything you want to do to me. <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, Bridget knows her whereabouts more than I do. But why are you keeping me here? Our findings review. You want the girl out of the way so that you can get the man all to yourself. It is true I love David. But the other truth is, I can never cause harm to Pamela. Never. Lord Lady, I can see you are being hardened. I am not being hardened, officer. I am just telling you my truth. You know what? If you're the suspect, make the work easy for the police. We will get the prosecutor to be lenient. But when you make it difficult for us, we will make you more frustrated. I am not frustrating you. I would never do that. Pam has been my friend for over the years now. And, and I know that I cannot, I cannot cause her pain. I cannot, I promise you, office, I cannot cause Pamela pain. I cannot, I would never do that to my friend. I'll show you one thing. Wherever the truth is hidden, we, the police, will surely find it. Officer, I am innocent. I am innocent, officer. I am innocent. I am innocent. I would never go back to Pamela. I promise. <laughs> I'm the missing lady. What have you been able to gather so far? So far, the suspect has still been denying the allegations. And you're not supposed to go out there and don't mask the truth. We are doing that, sir. You are not. I put it to you that you are not. At this point, everyone is a suspect. Now, get your name to work and take a very close mark and monitor every move. Noted, sir. Oh, can go. 
gang til at give til præsten. Okay, så. This well. Just keep quiet! That has always been my problem with you. Always showing up. Thinking you're better than everyone as always. You see, today, I'm gonna eliminate you. I'll kill you. I, I, I'll, I will give you everything. You are going six feet under. Okay. Please don't. My Hand friend. me the gun. Yes. Hold it. I'm under arrest. Oh, shit. It will do you good not to make any wrong move. For this place has been surrounded by men of the police force. Drop your weapon. Go back here. Bloody criminal. I'm his mother. Drop it. Sergeant. Officer, please, please. I, I, I'm your comrade now. Oh, yeah. I'm too bad. I'm not now. We have good news for you. Yes, DPO. I suspected uh, because you said it was urgent. Yes, just ten minutes. Um, please bring them in. All right. Bring them in. Cool. Just a minute. Oh, okay. Sorry, what's she doing here? She's the culprit. What? Were you hurt? Um, please sit. Please sit down, sit down. Sit down. No, this is unbelievable. You? Bridget, you were my best friend. I trusted you so much. And now I wonder, what, what wrong did I do? What did I do wrong? Just tell me, please. Where did I rock you? Where? 
I'm so sorry. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve it at all. But I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it, Pamela. You were ahead of me in everything. I'm sorry. I'm also because of him. What? Because of me? What? Why, why are you calling my name? Why, why are you getting me involved? I love David, sir. I loved him from the very first day that I... I set my eyes on him. Ha! The only one standing in the way. But I'm sorry. No, no, I'm not stalking you. Uh, I'm no longer that David you used to know. I'm a changed person. God has blessed me. God has given me a legitimate business. I'm very successful and I want to take care of you. That success God showed on your legitimacy is for you and your family. I do not have any business with you. And God cannot start anything with us because I am clearly not interested in you. Pamela, can you listen to me? Destiny brought us back to... Please. We're meant for each other, don't you understand? We did, are you, did you just call me by my name, Davis? Wait, wait, you have the guts to call me by my name. Oh, because of the little change your closeness to me brought in your life. Now you have the guts to call me by my name, right? I, I, I don't mean any harm. I, I, I can see you're sick. No, you're obviously sick. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a minute. Come in. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why would you have to embarrass him like that? You should know me. I really don't give a heck about real me, not to talk of your life, baby. But he has seen money lately. Did you not see his car? What car? I can afford 10 of those cars. What's that? Please, let's talk about something else. Baby Sin is a nobody, okay? Anyways, if you don't give two hoots about him, who am I to care about him? <laughs> Anyone you want now, do. Okay. And that's the matter, take the pin now. Good girl. <laughs> so please don't let Davidson talk, spoil our group. Are we still going yeah. out for a drink? Sure. Why not? We must go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, There's this, this new bar in town. Oh, right? really? Tell me about it. Did you visit there with Cynthia? Really? With who? With Cynthia. Oh, I thought you just said David. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I would have just mm, 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 skinned you alive right now. This particular fries was made with me in mind. <laughs> I love it. So crunchy. I'm glad you like it. Mm. <laughs> Before we leave, I'll place a different order. My <laughs> friend. Oh, really? Mm. Exactly what's on my mind. Mm. Mm. Hi, Pamela. You again? Yeah. Are you not following me around? Look, don't force me to brief the police. Because when I want to use the police on someone, I use them so well. Pamela, I'm not stalking you. But the truth is, it doesn't matter where I go, because every road 
I take leads to you. I feel something very strong for you and it keeps bringing me back to you. Don't you understand? Bridget, this guy is sick. No, I'm not. No, no, you're sick. I'm not sick. You're I'm very not. sick. <laughs> Don't worry. You are sick. But you want to try me, yeah? You want to try me? No, don't worry. Don't worry. I, 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 I'm going to show you. No, no, don't touch me. Stupid boy. I'm going to show you the stuff I'm made of. No, you're playing me right? You want to kidnap me or what? I, I don't even get it. Hold on. I'm going to call the police on you. Hey. Don't stand there and pretend you don't know what my friend is capable of. She's going to call the security on you. You just spoiled this beautiful moment. Go ahead, finish the food. Eat the food. Lover boy. Just eat it with something. Excuse me. That guy has been coming after Pamela and she keeps embarrassing him. I mean, the annoying thing is that he refuses to give up. How can you be following a girl up and down like say you don't get anything where you did do? That's because he feels something strong for her. And I don't know why she keeps treating him that way. I beg that guy in a mumu. That guy is a fool. He should pick a hustle. He should find something meaningful to do with his life. A babe no want you to say no want you. She doesn't want you. Anyway, you just pray for your friend. Because time is passing. Time is not on our side. I don't know for you both though, but as for me, heaven knows I want to get married. Mm. Yes. What is that supposed to mean? Well, lips zipped. You're not serious. <laughs> ah, I have something in the fire. Mm. Why is this Davidson only looking at Pamela? I was right there and he was just staring at her like a fool. The way this is going, he will never look at someone else as long as Pamela is still there. What do I do to get her off my way? She has everything. And that is why all men are dying to be hers. And no one is looking at me. Something needs to happen, and it needs to happen so fast. For the fact that you are standing here waiting for us, Means that you are in for business. You are at your service. So, what do you want? I have a job for you. What kind of job can I ask? I need to take somebody out of the way. If that means taking somebody's life, so you are not interested. We don't keep people. Oh, please. I'll do the killing myself. All I need you to do is take her to a place where I can do what I want. I'll give you one more year now. For kidnap? You are not serious. I mean, you are not serious at all. Listen, guys. Money is not the problem. You are not doing the killing. I'm doing the killing. I'm only asking you to take her to a safe place. Just assure me that you will do the job. And not just do the job. Do a clean job. I planned everything. Even what? the attack on me. So that no one would suspect me. You are evil! You, you planned the attack on you? Um, it's not for us to decide. The case file is being compiled. And the prosecutor will be briefed accordingly. And you will explain better in the court. Please take her away! Take her away! Take her away. She almost killed me. She, she almost dropped me 
dinero Pero si puedo de cómo A ti me pides en mí You see, Dana, you don't trust anyone. Your best friend could be your worst enemy, and your worst enemy your best friend. Wakey, wakey. Good morning. Good morning. How's your night? Very well. Right. Why, why did you leave? I mean, why didn't you sleep here with me? Um, let's say I thought uh, you needed some privacy. Hey, I made you hot chocolate. Thank you. Really nice. My favorite. Oh. It's hot. Mm. Good. Do you like it? Sure. Nice. Sexy. <laughs> Sexy, ooh. Right. Hey, um, I'm making uh, pasta. You like pasta? Mm -hmm. Pasta? All sure. right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you so much. All the things you've been doing for me lately and also for your patience i really do appreciate it it's okay it's nothing it's actually nothing you're welcome mm. so i have been meaning to ask you don't you like love don't you like to be in love I mean, you are, if not the most prettiest thing I've ever seen. And you don't have a man in your life. Are you scared of men? Do you have a problem with men? Do you like women? Stop, please. It has nothing to do with you or women. Greatest surprise. I saw my father on a wheelchair. The doctor said since his stroke, he will have to undergo therapy and also take some supplements that will help boost his immune. My love, I'm so sorry. Okay? You're saying I would have dropped at the hospital, but I'm just too busy. It's okay. The supplements and the massage oil is. 70,000 naira daily. I mean, it's just too outrageous. I wonder how long we'll keep up with that. My love, this thing is hitting you up. Honestly, I don't like the way you're looking. See, I want you to put yourself together, okay? Okay, I'll give you 200k. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Anything for my love. I'm giving you this money from the company account. I would do anything just to make you happy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, uh, I'll write the check because I have to run along and meet the boys in the sites. They've already started working. Come here. Martins gave me a check of 200,000 naira, so I cashed it and this is the money. He's a very nice man. Yeah, he is. I've heard of you talk so much about him lately. I want to see him soon. Sure, I will tell him. I want to know him. 
he, he, he's a good man. Yes, sir. Our daughter has found a good man. I'm so happy. I pray that God will replenish his pocket. Amen. God will continue to bless, bless, and bless him. <laughs> okay. Let me okay, go. Now. Okay. So tomorrow we'll get the drugs for him. I can't remember the last time I saw this amount of money. <laughs> uh, Mama, I'll be inside, okay? What else? Please help me get, put it in my Alright. So how are you feeling? I am I, doing fine. You'll be fine, okay? I thought of coming to see your father today. How is he doing? He's still not recuperating. I mean, with all this supplements and therapy, I see no improvements. Well, it's okay. It's a gradual process. Very soon you'll get better. Okay? Thank you. Yeah. Um, my dad sent me as regards to... Yes, 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 yes. The last time I spoke with him on phone, he told me about the hospital bill weighing him down. And I promised to do something. And I'm going to do something soon. But meanwhile, Penna, you need to take care of yourself. You don't have to be troubling your father in this his condition. Take this. This is 100,000. I want you to use it to take care of yourself. Get whatever you need. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. I really do appreciate you. Good man. You see, Pamela, you will get more of this. Yes. Hmm? You will get more. And you know that something good. Anything good comes with a price. A price? Yeah. What price? Come on, Pamela. You're not a little girl. You know what I'm talking about. I have needs. And I need little girls like you to take care of my needs. Come on. Hey, get your hands off me. You have needs. Do, 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 do I look like your need provider? What is wrong with you? Do, do, do you realize that you, you, you're my father's best friend and you're like a father to me? But I'm not your father. I'm just his friend. <laughs> Well, I can't, and I will do no such thing. Not with my father's best friend. Get your filthy money off him, rubbish. Just look at her. I'm just trying to help your family. What is your problem? Well, suit yourself. It's okay, my daughter. It's not his fault. I can't blame him for my problem. I believe in my creator and I'm hopeful that I will be well again. It hurts, Father, when you're going through the worst phase of your life and the people you thought have your interests at heart, they all turned out to be the ones who really want you dead. They all want to take advantage of our situation because we are helpless. It's really not fair. It's not fair. It's okay. Please don't cry. We have always existed without Chivezawa. And we will continue to exist. We don't really need his help. God will take control of everything. Okay? Stop crying. I, I, I will not call him. No, no, no. I will not call him. These days, the evil that men do lives with them. Don't worry. Karma will soon catch up with him. So, babe, what about the thing we discussed? I mean, my dad's health is really giving me concern. Don't worry, okay? I got your back. I don't think having someone like me, you will lack anything. So, I will give you some money by weekend so that you can take care of that and take care of other necessary things. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, thank you so much, baby. <laughs> thank you, I really do appreciate. Thank you so much. I love you so much. I love you too. You know that I can't just get enough of you. Uh, no, 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 no. You know that. But I just can't finally wait for you to become mine forever. <laughs> no, 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 please. 
No, 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 please. I'm, I'm tired. tired. No, no, I'm going to the soft one. <laughs> oh my god, not again. Not again. <laughs> The doctor hasn't been showing up because of money. <laughs> he, he probably thinks I can do it better. <laughs> Don't worry, you will get better, okay? Sorry. <laughs> we just have to keep doing it like this, okay? <laughs> Don't worry. Sorry. Can I rest? Can I rest? Small. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Hello. I can't you rest a little? <laughs> Daddy, we need to massage it because the doctor is not going to come anytime soon. We don't have enough. Okay. okay. I got your message. It was quite disturbing and urgent. I couldn't avoid it coming. What is it you want to tell me? I noticed some changes in your character, Martins. I mean, the other day I called you, 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 you shouted at me over the phone and you never called back. Since then I've been trying to call, but you've not been answering. Look, you know the kind of job I'm into. I'm into real estate management. I'm always busy. I'm always in the meeting. At that time, your call is the wrong time. As for the other money I promised for your father treatment, I don't have it now. You know, business has really been slow these days. Martins, are you trying to discard me because of the issues I'm having? I know you helped us and we showed appreciation. My family and I, we really do appreciate. But the fact is, I wasn't even calling because of the money. I was calling because I needed an emotional support. I needed someone to talk to. I needed a shoulder to lean on, someone that would tell me that everything is going to be fine. That's all. That is the point. I don't have time for that. See, as I speak with you right now, in 30 minutes, I will be in a meeting. I will call you back, okay? I, I will call you, I will call you just... I, I, I'm running out of time. I, I have yeah. to start going. Sure. Sure. Why are you crying? Huh? All you need to do now is to pray so that God will heal your father first, not to cry. Listen, I've learned one thing in life. Crying does not solve any problem. I know. I know crying doesn't solve problems, but what are we going to do? Who are we going to run to? The, the, the pension money is not forthcoming. I don't even know what to do. What if we exhaust all the money in our savings? And what I this? know God and I hope on him. Before we get to that point, I believe that God would help me. You don't have to cry. Crying doesn't solve any problem. No, Ma, I don't know what is going on. I can't, I can't explain what is going on. Matthias is not picking his calls. He hasn't been picking. He's not even returning my calls. I don't know why he's avoiding me. Listen, listen to me. I think it's because of my dad's condition. I don't know why he's avoiding me. It's okay. 
It's understandable. He has been spending money. Oh, it, just, it was just that one. That's so interesting. It's okay. You see, it's when you have problems or challenges that you really know the people that truly love you. Maybe he doesn't really love you as much as you think. That shouldn't be a problem. You let it go. All right? All these things shall come to pass. With time, it will all be history. Now come here. Don't cry. Come, on, come on. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Pamela, why are you crying? Eh? Why are you always crying? You can't go through life crying all the time. That no matter whatever it is, you should try and make yourself happy. Find something that would help put a smile on your face. Do you know that for the past two weeks, Martin's promised to call. He hasn't called. I haven't heard from him. Are we still talking about Martin's? Why don't you just move on with your life? Mama, why, why are men so wicked? Why is it that when they finally get what they want, they all zoom off? I thought he meant well for me. All the promises and prophecies of love he made towards me were all lies. Your experience, they say, is the best teacher. Now you have experienced what it means to be a young girl. Most men are, are chameleons. They change colors according to how it suits them. You're not going to die because Martins is no longer interested. All you need to do now is just, just forget everything and move on with your life. Don't let this whole thing weigh you down. Oh, this is so hard. This is this is heartbreaking. Martins left me when I needed him the most. Listen to me. I need you. Your father needs you. And we both love you dearly. Okay? Forget about Martins. Alright? Come here. Come here. Come to my mind. We'll be fine, it's okay. I heard what's been going on with you. You see, one thing I believe is whatever is yours will never pass you by. Amen. Take it as his loss and not yours. And I pray that God will give you a man that will not be tired of your problems. Amen. A man that will care for you. Amen. A man that will see you as his jewel. Amen. <laughs> Amen, Papa. Thank you so much. Hmm? And I'll be going back to school tomorrow. Oh. And please, please, do not hesitate to call me if anything comes up, okay? <laughs> Do you have some money? Yes. <laughs> I do. I do. I will, I, will, I will see how to manage myself through the semester. Hmm. And um, Papa, I want to beg you for one more thing. Eh? Okay. You know your health condition. So please, please, do not think too much. Okay. I also have mine to tell you. I want you to concentrate on your studies, okay? I will. I will. <laughs> Always call me. Call me. Please. Hmm? You can trust me, okay? Okay, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guys, this is a beautiful place. Hey. <sighs> Good afternoon. Yes, um, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. You look so gorgeous. I mean, you even look uh, better physically than you do online. Oh, thank you. You don't look bad yourself. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you said you wanted to get drugs for your dad? Oh, yes. But since you're here, I can do that later. Oh, no, that's not a problem. I will take you there and bring you back. Okay? That's why we're friends. 
Thank you. But it's not my style to inconvenience people. Oh, come on. I do not feel inconvenienced. I mean, that's why we are friends. And you did me fit to give you contact and address. So, come on. We can do this. All right? Okay. All right. I, yeah. That explains it. I remember you told me you are the head of hospital security department. <laughs> I mean, I was talking about a different kind of security. Well, actually, I'm the head of the medical team, the emergency unit. You're a medical doctor? <laughs> oh my goodness, like, I never knew anything could ever bring me close to a medical doctor in my life. Really? I swear. Oh, well, um, maybe God has a plan. You never can tell. <laughs> uh, uh, let's go, okay? Okay, right, let uh, wait, let me quickly grab my purse. I'm coming. Um, come, I, I know you're worried about the money. I'll pay for it. No problem. I got it covered. Okay. All right. <laughs> you seem nice. Thank yes, you. Yes, I am nice. Um, thank you very much. You really made my day and I enjoyed your company. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. I should be the one thanking you. I mean, we didn't even plan this. We only came here to get drugs for my dad, yeah? And then you turned it into a shopping extravaganza. <laughs> <laughs> extravaganza. Wow. I love that word. I mean, I mean, there's nothing I can do for you because you mean the world to me. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I mean, you don't have to say anything, okay? You don't have to say anything. I mean, what is the worst thing I could do? A marriage proposal? I love to help people. That is what the world should be. That's how the world should be. Humanity, to love one another. Yes. Thank you. It's okay. Um, let me take you home now, okay? Sure. <laughs> From the smile on your face, it's obvious you're in love with him. <laughs> yes, yes, Mama. <laughs> He's caring. He's so caring. That's good to hear. See, I told you. All oh, that while you were crying over Martins, I told you it wasn't the end of the world. <laughs> Not all men are like Martins. Mm. There's still some good men out there. Eh? I'm, I'm glad you've met a good man. But then again, you know, you have to be careful. You know, some of these men, if I may use the word magical, outside they're so nice, so caring, so loving, but inside, inside of them, they're demons. So you need to be careful. I know, I'm being careful. Dr. Ben has, he's proven to be different from the rest of them, you know. Yeah, if you say so, <laughs> just be careful. I it's know, Mama, please. It's okay. Let's not make this discussion about me. Let's talk about Papa who is sick. Hmm? Your Papa who is sick is inside the room getting better. <laughs> so this discussion must be about you. Why are you like this? No, I need to know that my girl is happy. Why are you like this? I'm not. I'm not I'm not if I may ask, I'm sure your father is not here. Just tell me the truth. Have you kissed him? Again, what? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Fine. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Mm. <laughs> so, where are we headed? To the driving school. <laughs> yes. <Driving> school? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want you to learn how to drive. Okay, okay, and okay. I will give you one of my cars to ease the stress for you. 
Trust me. Yeah, you 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 will give me your car. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Go to school. Yes, anything for you. You, you gotta give me your car. Yes. Yeah, I mean I have a lot of them, so I can just easily give you one. Oh my god. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you. It's good to see you happy. Thank you so much. It's okay, let's head out let's now. Let's go then. Okay. All I can say is that he's a nice man. Yes. I'm impressed with what you have said of me. But but then have you studied him enough? Still in the process of getting to know him, Papa. But so far, he's good. More also, he's offering to help. Well, then let him come and, you know, check your father out. Who knows, he might discover something that the other doctors were not able to diagnose. It's okay. He can come. Okay. We're expecting him. Well, you've heard your father. The way you're smiling and, you know, licking your lips looks like you like it. This is one okay. Well, you're not licking your lips. Mm. Are you feeling pain, yeah? Mm. Mm. Sorry, sorry, mm. sorry. Mm. Sorry. Mm. Um, well, you should have been okay by now, but um, we found out that you're having complications with your spine. Did you at any time fall? Yeah. Um, Some time ago, when I was trying to lift him up, he slipped. Well, um, I am suspecting compression because of the frequent waist pains. You're, you're right. I do have pains serious pains yeah. but then doctor uh, if what you you have just said is anything to go by why then did i lose my function well um don't worry everything will be fine um if it's an infection there are drugs for it and if it's a compression then you have to go for a surgery doctor that's scary so many people have died in the past due to spine surgery I don't want anything to happen to him. Um, well, in this case, it's different. I have a friend who is an orthopedic surgeon, so I can refer you to him tomorrow morning for proper diagnosis. So whatever he says, I'll pick it up from there, okay? Just stay positive. Doctor, thank you so much. It's okay. I, I, I am mighty relieved now. And your visit has actually given me the hope that I, 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 I can walk again. By the grace of God, you will walk again. You will walk again. By the grace of God. I am positive. You should stay positive too, okay? Yeah. Right. Doctor, thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Um, all right, uh, we're there in five minutes. Just put everything in place, okay? All right, all right. Hey. Um, my love, um, I have to go now. I have an emergency at the hospital, okay? I'll call you later. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Thank you so much for today. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, just cheer up. Everything will be fine, okay? Okay. Uh, all right. I'll yeah. see you later. Yeah. Bye. Bye. How exactly did it happen? He abandoned us. When he got the better part of me, he stopped caring completely. Even his friend whom he introduced us to, he started making his own advances at me when he noticed that Dr. Ben had chicken out. Things finally got so complicated and my dad couldn't take the pain in his spine anymore. We were asked to fly him abroad for proper treatment. Well, there was no money. My dad couldn't bear the pain anymore. He was brought home and then he died in an excruciating pain. 
I'm heartbroken. I'm, I'm sorry you had to go through all of that. You don't deserve any of those things. But I still believe all men are not the same. Everything I was so good to men. I related so closely to them. But they all proved to be so heartless, so heartless. I know how heartbroken you are. You don't deserve all of those things. And I feel if your dad were to be alive, he wouldn't let you live your life like this. He would ask you to get married to the man of your dreams, the man you love and someone who loves you back. However, I still think it is inappropriate to put all men in the same category. Some people are different, some people are good. Have you forgotten how we met? No, I haven't. Something tells me that we're destined to be together. And that is why God brought you back. Because the moment you came back into my life, the success in me got activated and things began to go well for me. I'm glad that we're back together. And... You've got your heart broken so many times. But I'm glad that you're back. I'm glad that we're back together. And I promise never, never to let you go again. Thank you so much for your patience. And I promise to be there for you. I promise to be part of your life forever if you want. I promise never to leave you. I love you. I don't know what is wrong. I haven't heard from her. She called me like a week ago. Is it a week or more than a week? Telling me that some people are after her life. Hi, God. Since then, I have not heard from her. If not for this, my sickness, I would have gone to the city to look for her. Her friend, her friend. I don't know what I used to save her name again in my phone. I would have called her to find out if she's okay. My God. Let my enemies not laugh at me. Hey! Nothing will happen to my child. I developed interest in him. After you constantly refused his advances, I tried to let him know about my feelings towards him without having any evil thought against you. Listen. You're a friend turned sister, and I would never think of betraying you. I sincerely value our friendship. I'm so sorry for everything. I know I let you down, and I'm so, so sorry. Sincerely, I hold nothing against you, Cynthia. I mean, there is nothing wrong with a woman developing feelings for a man or crushing on a man, right? And I know you went for him because I rejected him and there is no way I would go back to what I rejected. So it's not a problem. It's fine. I, I, I can't even say I've forgiven you because I really hold nothing against you. Thank you, Pam. From my heart, thank you. <laughs> we cool. Hi, guys. Sorry. I had to quickly go get this very, very sweet wine. Listen, enough of this town hall meeting, okay? Let's seize this moment to celebrate because it's a special day for me. How about that? Okay. But what do you think? Mm -hmm. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much, Davidson. 
I know you expected better from me, but I'm so sorry for disappointing you. I'm truly sorry. I believe we have gone past that, okay? And uh, let's put it behind us. Let's celebrate. It's, it's a brand new day, okay? Um, I think we can just. Oh, okay. You first, my lady. <laughs> just tell me when to stop. I think I don't have. Just give me a second, I'll get one more glass for myself. Now I believe there is a reason for everything. So this lady has gone through all this. Of course. Uh, she's been through a lot. I feel for her. Anyways, how is it going with you guys? It's been it's been great so far, you know. She believes in me now. She trusts me now and, uh, oh, I didn't tell you. We're going to see her mother very soon. Uh, her mother wants to see her. Her mother wants to know everything happening around her. So, so yeah. Wow. So finally, you've got to the most precious Miss Pamela as a wife. Well, true. But it's going to be official very soon. Congrats, Mama. <laughs> I can't wait to be your best man. Right. <laughs> Severally to reach you, but your line wasn't going through. You know, as a matter of fact, I decided this afternoon that I was coming to the city, even if it meant taking the night bus. Mama, <laughs> what happened? Mama, it's a long story. Yeah, a Very long story. Really? Honestly, yes. So let's just go inside. I'll tell you everything you need to know. I can't wait to hear it all. Yeah. Do we go in or we Mama, stay no, no, let's go in. It's all light. Let's go. Okay. Come on. I mean, your best friend did this to you. Yes, Mama. But I thank God for his mercy and protection. All glory to God. I mean, if anything had happened to you, what would, what would I have done? Hey. I thank you, Lord. By the way, you deceived me. You told me you had a relationship with David, so. <laughs> uh... Yes, Mama. You know, the initial plan was to get you off my back because I know, I know you were coming to pest me to get married. But, you know, my this it turned into my reality. <laughs> okay. Mom, she's, she's absolutely right. It's, it's actually a long story. I was unemployed. Um, I was looking for a job. We met each other. She offered me a very weird job. <laughs> Fortunately for me, uh, I found love. Her friends tried to betray her. They got jealous of us and a lot happened, but I, I thank God it's over. And we are... <laughs> I'm sure it's over because you know, this God is an awesome God. Mm -hmm. Whatever he has destined must come to pass. Right. Yes, it might be delayed, you know, somewhere along the line. But at the end of the day, it shall come to pass. Right. <laughs> I can't believe this. All right, so if I may ask, what's next? Okay, um, we'll be getting married. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You will be getting married. Yes. No, no, seriously. Yes. You're, you're not deceiving me this time. <laughs> oh, God. 
your name be glorified. <laughs> the holy water worked. All the prayers worked. I can't believe this. Okay. She thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> if I may ask, what do I? Um, Mama, yes. on our way here, she said um, you like to make a goosey soup. Pancake bit. So I'm here for that. Just give me 30 minutes. That's too much. You know, besides a goosey soup, yes. I have a bono. Okay. I have a nubu. Okay. I have a salad. I have oh, a rock. No, what? You didn't tell me you run restaurant what? here. You, you know your mother. I mean, since I retired as a principal, I decided to try something oh. else. <laughs> what do you want? Some fufu, gari. My meeting is fine. I just, I just like egg soup. Yes. That's, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> She's excited. Yes, she is, and I am too. Mm. What's that noise? I'm here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Hey, my guy. Big, big. <laughs> What's up, bro? I'm good. How's it going? Don't get started. You came late. I've been yeah. expecting you. Sorry about that. Babe. Please have a seat. Have a seat. <laughs> Babe. I'm coming. Come, come, come. Hurry up. How's it going, man? Ah, I'm good, boss. <laughs> Looking good. Babe. Oh. Um, Vic, yeah. let me formally introduce someone special to you. Meets the love of my life. Mm. <laughs> That's my friend, Vic. Victor, the one I told you about. The one I always talked about. Victor! Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, see what? You made the right decision. <laughs> Leave me alone, Victor. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Babe, you're, you're in the kitchen. I can smell. Okay, All okay, right, okay. I'll be, I'll be right back. Please, I'll be right back. Oh, wait. Yeah. What's up, bro? <laughs> yeah. Yes, we're playing the game. But the game changed. And right now, you captured my heart. You made me to fall in love with you. You are the one for me, baby. My kind of woman. Let me take your hand. That needs to give the people story. One man down for your love, eh? Jackie, do one for Rosie, eh? I, I go do one for you. Oh. I'm a begging Romeo, begging you to please be my Juliet. No matter what it takes, I go love you, die. Now me and you go there till that kingdom come. Just give me the chance, oh, to prove myself to you. I feel like to you, baby. 